in the Merkava, the sacred chariot of the divine that is described in the book of uh, Ezekiel in the Bible, known in English mostly as Merkaba. Um, <laughs> there are four faces of animals that are described there, uh, like to the four directions. And this is how it stands in Kabbalah. And I want to have a little teachings about about that because it's, it's very meaningful. So it goes like that. Um, to the right side, and the right is to the south, because in the ancient way, um, one would face the east, the orient. That's why we call it orientation. Orientation is basically finding your east, facing the east. This is in Hebrew. Um, it makes sense because Kedem is east and Kadima is fo uh, forward. So we're facing the east, we're facing the rising sun. It's the easiest way to know the directions. Where is the sun rising? You wake up and you say like, oh, the sun is in the east. You find your orientation. So standing facing the east, um, to the right side, there is the lion. To the left side, there is the ox or the bull or the buffalo, you know, this kind of animal, the ox. In front of you, where the sun is riding, there is, where is, there is the eagle. And behind, in the west, in the land of Israel, in the, where the te these texts were written in the e ancient east, not only Israel, but in this area, it's the Mediterranean, which is in the west. So the big sea, the ocean, the big sea. And there, there is the human, which is very interesting. When you say human, male or female? So I used to relate to it as male and female together, as sacred union of male, female. That's the human. So... In front of me there is the eagle, right side there is the lion, left side is the ox, and behind me there is a sacred union of the lovers. What's the meaning of that? This is a beautiful, actually, um, meditation and a guidance for life. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, the teaching in Hasidut, in the ancient uh, Kabbalistic teaching, is that the lion represents this big heart that wants to do what it wants to do. A lion, as they say, uh, you cannot put a lion to plow your field. The lion does what it wants to do. The lion is the king. No one tells the lion what to do. That's a part of us. There is a part of us that is a lion that doesn't want to listen to orders from the outside. It has this kind of uh, tendency to do what it wants to do. The ox is the complete opposite of that. That's where they are like south and north. Complete opposites. The ox is the one that plow the field. It carries the yoke. It takes on its shoulder all the that ne all that needs to be done. So the ox in us is this part that says I need to do what needs to be done. There are things that need to be done. I'm going to carry this burden and I'm going to carry through and I'm going to do it. The ox and the lion are enemies inside of us because there is part of me that wants, I just want to do what I want, what I feel like. And there is a part of me, but I need to do this. Do you know this conflict between what you really want to do and what you feel like you need to do? So the thing is that these two are in conflict only when the ego has not risen up yet. Because the ego that comes from the east represents with its two wings to the two, eagle has the two wings to the two sides. So it's like embracing the lion, embracing the ox. And the blessing of the eagle is view, is vision. And the thing is like that, when you have vision, what you want to do is what you need to do, and what you need to do is what you want to do. It's only when you're working for other people's vision that what you need to do is, is what, not what you want to do. Get it? When you are working for your own vision, when you have a vision and you 
the vision this vision is motivating you then it's your vision and you want to do it even if it's hard i mean so many times i invested you know hours and days i can work non-stop like hours and hours and hours forget to eat forget to get up from the chair forget uh, many things i just like i'm so invested in what i'm in writing a book creating music whatever it is that i need to do that it's yes it's hard work sometimes but i don't feel oh i need to do that no i'm i'm doing what i love doing so when you have your vision what you need to do to fulfill this vision is what you want to do in the depth of want to do maybe it's not comfortable it's more comfortable to just be lazy but you don't want to be lazy you're motivated so the ego is the one who brings actually peace between the lion and the ox now what's left is what's behind and behind us is everything that we left behind <laughs> everything that we don't want to look at and these are the causes of illnesses these are the causes of all kind of things that are coming from the shadow so in front of us are things that we want to put in the light in behind us are those things that we don't want to relate to that we put them in the shadow and they usually knock on our door in dreams if we don't listen to our dreams they knock on our door in terms of illnesses um, and they call us they just call us to pay attention if we put when we put the archangels on this system uh, Michael is the lion, Michael, Gabriel, Gabriel is the ox, because Gabriel in Hebrew comes from Gvura, from Leid Gaber, to like, which means like to put power, to do what you need to do. That's the power. Uriel is the angel of light or uh, vision, and Raphael is the angel of healing, and that comes from behind. We need healing from behind, not only because we need usually a good neck massage, but also because illnesses and problems are coming because of shadows that we didn't want to face. So the first step is to find your vision that makes peace between right and left, between the eagle and the ox. And when you have your vision, it's good to pay attention to the shadow to all those things that you didn't want to face, that we didn't want to face. Dark emotions, um, motivations that we think are negative, uh, desires, fears, things that we put in the dark. And the best way to go there is by the animal that's called human, <laughs> the human animal. The sacred union between the male and the, fe and the female, the masculine and the feminine. Lovemaking, sacred lovemaking, makes us humane. And being human means to be perfectly imperfect. Not to try to be perfect, but to actually be humane, to feel who I, am re who I really am. And sacred lovemaking sacred union between the masculine and the feminine inside of me is the only way to actually go deep into the shadows and bring healing then we find center and then this Merkava the chariot is ready for the divine heart for the heart of the universe to dwell inside and ride through us into life